Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil 2. When we last left off, we were about to finish the game. So, let's continue. Should we, should we even bother with the Magnum? Um, no. Uh, you know what? Fuck the Magnum. Uh, not really a fan of it in this game, to be honest. 35 ink ribbons. Is that enough? Do you think there's enough, like, saves in this game? So there's... I'm going to go out on a limb and say there's, like, 40 saves? Uh, let's grab up some health, though, because we probably will need health. I'm actually curious. You know what? We will take the Magnum. Um, not a huge fan of it, but it's probably got a little bit more poke than the custom shotgun. Uh, sure. Why not? There we go. And we are going to take the machine gun as well. I'm really curious as to how much damage he can take. Uh, have we even used the first aid spray? I'm pretty sure we haven't, but I might be wrong. Let's just take some of these. It doesn't feel like it's the end of a Resident Evil game. Uh, unless you're, like, herbed up. So, let's go. We do need to keep a couple of spaces free for the, um, what should we call it? And by what you call it, so I of course mean the fuses, because there's like a few fuses, two fuses, I believe, that we have to pick up, because of course we do. A little bit like the battery that fucked us over on the original. Yes, yes, the battery. We remember the battery, don't we? All right, Sherry. Uh, Uncle Leon's got to go take care of a few things. Uh, I'll be back for breakfast or something. Alright, let's go. Is two hills going to be enough? Probably. I guess. I don't know. Uh, maybe. Um, I can't really remember how much of an ass this guy is. Five minutes! Five minutes till detonation! Oh no! Oh no! Oh my giddy aunt. Actually, there is an item box down here, if memory serves. Yeah, there is. Uh, don't actually know what's here it's yeah it's literally just an item box uh, should we take another heal probably couldn't hurt could it I mean we only need two spaces free I guess so. let's go for a mega heal there we go a mega weed as my friend used to call it right let's go I mean we only have five minutes before we're completely uh, dusted but hey five minutes is five minutes man that's like ages in fact actually this probably could have been tacked on to the last episode but eh well there's the plugs we shall take the plugs I hope these plugs are okay. Look at the size of these things as well. Look how big those plugs are. Um, they are kind of ridiculous. In fact, they are completely ridiculous how big those things are. So we can't actually pick up a tiny little key if we uh, lack the space. Or should I say, a tiny little key takes up the same amount of space as uh, one of these things. Kind of strange when you think about it, but hey, we're not paid to think, we're paid to kill. The emergency mode has been activated. The power supply will be cut temporarily. The emergency train will be activated upon restoration of the power. Oh no! Hey friend. Oh, the music. Look at its heart thing. Oh, that is not nice. Right, here he comes. Let's wake the fucker up, shall we? He's going to charge at us straight away with that horrible claw sound. Let's light him up. Ooh, God. We're fine, so that's fine. Oh, here he comes. Ooh, you little bastard. Oh, my God. He's quick. Now, of course... Ooh, the only problem with get up Leon the only problem with the machine gun 
uh, of course, is it is a very, 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 very slow weapon to actually ready. Yeah, by the time we've actually aimed it, and... Oh! I mean... Yes, Leon, that's Ada. Ow! Dude, come on, man. Just, just let me kill you. Like, just be a pal. You're not going to let me kill you, are you? You're just going to be a giant dick penis man and block the, the freaking rocket launcher. Come on. Yes, now can I have the rocket launcher, please? Thank you. You're one of the good ones, sir. You will be remembered. Although you won't, so I don't really want to give you false hope. Because that seems a little bit unfair. Goodbye. Game over, Game over punk. Oof. Ooh, he's gone. He's toast. Nothing left but bits. But wait, that's not the end of the game. Oh no, we still have to get out of here. Yes, a little bit different from the original game. Where you smoke the tyrant and that's all, folks. But then, he's not really the tyrant, is he? He's just a pretender. He is the side bitch, of course. Alright, let's get out of here. Wait a minute, have I fucked up? Am I meant to push a button? I get the feeling that I'm supposed to have pushed a button before I came back here. I may have... I also have a feeling that I made this mistake first time round? Well, let's get Leon feeling a bit better. There we go. Right, now we can actually run at some some speed. Don't we have to, like, release some kind of safety gate or something? Right, let's get you out of the way. And I'm sure, yeah, we got zombies. Get out of here. Get out of here. 30% rounds left. There we go. Sit down, you bastards. Yeah, you want a little more? That's f oh, you cheeky shitbag. Honestly. Spray you down. Cheeky motherfucker. There we go. That's it. We do actually have to open the gates. We're on caution. That cheeky lunging son of a bitch. Well, that's fine. Nothing we can do about it. I suppose it makes sense to go out a little bit battered and bruised. What a bastard. <sighs> I kind of like, feel like I want to put my foot up his ass. And I've still got that feeling that we've forgotten to do something. Nope, we're good. That's one hell of a lever. Ooh, we're off. Now who's leaving who behind? Come on, Claire. Yeah, she's a Redfield. You didn't think it was going to be over that quick, did you? If I give it to her. Yeah, let's think about this for a minute. It's the only antidote. Claire, what's happening? Not now. Come on, Cherry, wake up. Wake up. Please wake Oof, up. Oof, she really does look like a plastic doll. Where? Where am I? It's, it's the eyes. Oh, Sherry. You're gonna be okay. Hey, what about Leon? Mm-hmm. You're right. This is just the beginning. Goodbye, Ada. 
for now. Ooh. Uh. Oh man. <laughs> yeah, the game pulls a good old little bit of a switcheroo on us, doesn't it? Um. Shit. What was that? I don't know, guys, but I'm gonna take my friend and have a little look. Don't worry about it, guys. I got this. I got this. Wait, what? But how? Hmm. Two minutes. Oh. What's <laughs> wrong? <laughs> oh, Leon. Well, how do we get ourselves into this situation, buddy? Good God. Alright, well, what's going back here? What the hell's going on back here? Have we got any freeloaders? Oh! Hello. Mr. Pokey. Well, that's not the ugliest sack of shit we've seen in a while. Oof. You ain't a looker. Oh, God, look at that. Well, the beauty of this thing, it's got a lot of space to shoot. It, yes, that makes sense. You can't really miss that, can we, Leon? Let's light it up. Come on, baby. 10%. 4%. We're dry. We're dry. Weapons dry. Reload, Leon. Let's go. Another 100% left. Give it everything we have. Oh, boy. Oof. I did wonder for a minute then. <laughs> so it takes 40% nearly of the machine gun. Had to get that reload in there. I love that reload animation for the submachine gun. And you never get it, like it, you know, obviously because you can miss it. Gotta get it in there. Ugh, what a mess. Hee hee hee. Yep, well, he's gone. He's definitely gone. Well, no harm in making sure. Double tap, motherfucker. He's not getting back from that, surely. There's no way. Uh, girls, can I come back, please? Girls? Can you let me in, please? Room for a little one? Oh, dear. Well, that doesn't sound fun. Uh oh. Yeah, Daddy's angry. Uh, Claire, how about uh, using that grenade launcher? Where's your grenade launcher? <laughs> Yeah, that one over there. Big red one that says emergency. Ooh, sparks in the eyes. Yeah, I I get a bit of a move on, guys. Where's Claire? 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 Right here. Claire. 
You had a minute left to run, guys, and that was five minutes ago. Oof. That thing's getting big. Ooh. Smile, you son of a bitch. So, it's finally over. Sherry, you look terrible. No worse than you, <laughs> Cheeky. Come on. What's wrong? Is something following? <laughs> we have no, let's just stay here forever. Don't have any time to waste. Go where? Hey, it's up to us to take out Umbrella. <laughs> yeah, a kid, a heavily wounded cop, and a high school girl. Hey, I'm game. Well, 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 well. Resident Evil 2 wrapped up once again. Does it still hold up? That's the question. Um, yes. <laughs> Hell yeah. It's just as much fun as it's always been. In fact, I think kind of like Resident Evil, it's a fine wine. It gets better with age. Um, absolutely. And uh, a subscriber called Blind Man has opened my eyes to another uh, interesting looking game called Deep Fear. Came out on the Sega Saturn. Uh, only in Europe. And it was basically the best way to describe it. It was Sega's Resident Evil. Very few people know about this game. Uh, I had never heard of it. Um, only came out in PAL regions. And it came out in extremely limited quantities. And thus is extremely expensive. Uh, now, the only Sega system I don't own is a Sega Saturn. And I don't think it would be financially viable to acquire Sega Saturn yet just to play that one game. So maybe I'm going to look into emulating that because that sounds really interesting. It has worse voice acting than Resident Evil 1. Yes, I'm serious. Uh, which sold me straight away but the gameplay is good it's really quite interesting uh, obviously I don't know nothing really about the game apart from it's all set underwater in the submarine uh, and there was a sequel planned for the Dreamcast and early footage of the leaked sequel looked absolutely amazing but it was shit canned so yes yes deep fear I got my eye on you. Uh, can you even imagine that? A Resident Evil survival horror style clone-ish game made by Sega. Yes, please. Take my fucking money. Anyway, Resident Evil 2. But I don't think we're quite done with Resident Evil 2 yet. No. Not quite yet. How long did that take us to get through that time? I'm thinking four hours something. Don't leave me hanging here. Ooh, just under four hours. B ranking. Um, wait a minute. So would we have got an A if we didn't use the submachine gun? Possibly. Um, hmm. Okay, happy with that. And I love that screen as well, Leon. I'm guessing that's like some kind of alter alternate timeline. Um, oh, you your reward. You will receive less points by using a special weapon. Right. Does that mean that the flamethrower and the Mac-10 are not special weapons? Only the unlimited variant of the weapon is classed as a special weapon. Maybe that's what it means. And if that's what it does mean, that makes sense. Because you shouldn't be punished for using the weapons that are actually in the game. Uh, yeah, we're going to overwrite because we've actually got rewards here. Hmm. Kind of annoying that I just <laughs> saved over that, actually, because I should have saved over the Claire one. But hey. There we go. Yes, as I was saying, we're not quite done with Resident Evil 2. 
No. Because we have EX Battle. Uh, yeah, Extreme Battle. I'm not sure if we are going to do this straight away. Because this is quite hard from what I can remember. Um, now, on the Dreamcast, you actually have all the characters unlocked. Whereas, I believe on the PlayStation version, you don't. This is a little bit like the Mercenaries mode. Uh, I'm not sure if this is available on every version. I think it is. Um, or maybe it's new for the DualShock version. I can't remember. But basically, there are three levels. It's a little bit like the fourth survivor, although I don't really like the fourth survivor. Uh, and the tofu missions, but there's three parts to it, and we have to find explosives. And it's quite hard from what I can remember, so I am going to be practicing it a little bit. And once I'm fairly confident that I can get through it, then I will uh, record it, shall we say. Um, I don't really want to run through it now and fail horribly miserably, which I may or may not do. Uh, I'm not sure what characters to pick either. I like, I like the idea of using Ada. But Leon's armed to the teeth and dressed to kill. Claire, eh, that's, that's, a fair, that's a fairly boring um, loadout, if you ask me. Grenade launcher and... Eh, they've all got ink ribbons, though. So, does that mean... I guess we save it at some point. I don't know if I've played that. I've probably played this years ago. Leon's literally... Oh, I thought he literally had a blue herb there, but he's got an F8 spray as well. They all have F8 sprays? No, Ada doesn't. Ada's just got a super mega ultra weed. Hmm. But yes, we will, we will come back to this, guys. We will. We will have a little look. So, from what I can understand... We have bombs to find, and we have to hunt through the city, and it's kind of a tactical, puzzly sort of stage, but I don't really know too much about it, but I am going to investigate. Anyway, guys, that wraps up Resident Evil 2. I really enjoyed that. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it too, and as always, till next time.